Hi, and welcome to this talk. My name is Peter Jönsson, and I'm a site player built in near LogDNA. This is my awesome slide about LogDNA. Uh, we're the best centralized log management solution for the Kubernetes world. So if you have logs, please send them to us. We love to store your logs, so you don't have to. So remember, if you want to store logs, send them to LogDNA. And that's all I'm going to say about LogDNA. I'm here today to talk about our pay duty setup and how we got it under control. Let's begin with talking about how things were back in 2020. Our entire pay duty account and set setup was configured manually. Knowledge on how to configure this was spread from person to person. Uh, to improve this, I added a guide in our wiki using some screenshots to make things a bit more clearer. But still, every environment was configured slightly differently and configuration different over time. At this time, we're adding new uh, environments which translate to pay duty services uh, every so often. And it very quickly became an operation overhead because we had to perform the same settings on all of these. This, at the time, we had about 20 different uh, environments or services. It doesn't sound like a lot, but they all had the same configuration. So it very quickly became a headache to make any changes to this setup. This is our global event rule page. The selection of the environments we have. Uh, an environment is a Kubernetes cluster running in one or more data centers around the world. These environments translate to a pay duty service. Currently, we page on the entire cluster instead of individual services. Uh, this is since setting up the individual services in all these uh, clusters would be operational pain since we're doing it manually. Uh, and the reason for the configuration being manual in the first place was that we were a very small team and we did not have so many environments. We could of course change this earlier, but there are other things that are more pressing to solve. So we continue to maintain the configuration manually. And each of those uh, uh, environments, they also contain service event rules. And these are also entered manually. As you see, there are lots of pain to go around. So how to deal with this? So we decided to use Terraform. If you don't know what Terraform is, it's a tool for declaring in code how your cloud resources should look like. You write in a declarative language called HashiCorp Configuration Language, HCL, and they're providers, more or less plugins for almost everything, including paid duty. With Terraform, we can use the same language to describe our cloud infrastructure and all the other services that we use around this infrastructure, such as paid duty. It also removes the need to write any custom scripts that will very quickly turn into technical debt as soon as you press save in your editor. So what problems did we encounter when doing this? Sadly, not everything we needed was available inside the provider, specifically support for service event rules. We use this to translate the alert severity from our metrics and monitoring system into pay duty alerts. We translate upstream high to critical, medium to warning, and low to info. This configuration has to be done on every service inside paid duty. We're a bit sad, but continue to work and we were continuously watching the community thread about uh, adding support for service event rules. So how did we implement this? We wrapped all configuration of paid duty into a Terraform module. Modules are a way of writing shared code in Terraform, similar to a function or an object in other programming languages. This way, we only need to provide the API token to pay duty and the name of our environment to have all the configuration automatically set up for that environment. However, still we need to add the service event rules manually. Here's an example on how calling this module looks like. All configuration pay duty is contained inside the module. So for external user, this is all you need to configure. So let's talk about inside the module. We begin with declaring the pay duty provider, initialize it using the pay duty token. Uh, we then need to look at the global configuration about our escalation policy and our global rule set. These two resources are maintained uh, with Terraform in a global scope. So we don't need to define this more than once. And these are then shared across all environments. Then the resource block will create the pay duty service with our settings. We need to pass in which escalation policy we use. So we pass in the one called infrastructure. This needs to be the literal name of the escalation policy. So it will be different in your environment. The service also needs to be connected to a rule set and we use the global one we just looked up. 
We then continue with the rule set for the service here called environment. This is where you need to figure out from which cluster the incoming alert is coming. Inside the payload, you send the pay duty. There's, a, there's some fields that you can use for this. You query this using subconditions. Our rules can be evaluated regardless of the order, so we ignore shame disposition that has occurred. It shouldn't really happen, but just if they do, we ignore them. As you see, we try a few different fields to figure out from where the alert is coming. If a match is found, PayDuty will route the alert to this service. Otherwise, it will continue to the next rule and try that one. If you do find a match, we set up the rule we want to execute. We set up a route to this environment and also extract the description of the alert to the application key. PayDuty will use this to make sure that we don't get paged twice for the same alert. We also extract the summary from the incoming page and we make this the PayDuty alert summary. And then it happened. Support for service event rules was released. Uh, today we saw in the community ticket that the service event rules have been implemented in the PayDuty REST API and that PayDuty support was coming. It was a very good day for us at LogDNA. So we would like to say thank you to PayDuty and everybody involved in implementing this uh, feature. So it was a huge happiness I could merge in the pull request that had been pending for six months to add the service event rules into our code base to make a paid duty set up 100% automated. So how does the code for service event rules look? If you remember, we need to translate three different upstream alert messages to paid duty paying levels. High to critical, medium to warning, and low to info. In this example, we will perform this for high to critical. As you see, we first set up the resource that defines the service event rule. We then define a condition for when this should trigger by extracting a value from the incoming message. And finally, we define an action to set the severity. For medium and low, it looks the same, just with different values. So what's the state of paid duty at LogDNA 2021? So now, we have a 100% Terraform paid duty set up at LogDNA. There are no more manual changes being performed. All changes to our configuration are transparent as changes are done via code, code review, and pull requests. You can easily point newcomers to repository with the code base for paid duty and they can get up to speed quickly. There's no more need to spread the knowledge person to person. Instead, we can read the code and work on this together and it's easy for everybody, everybody to see what changes have, ha, has been done. So the source code for our module, it, we have open sourced it. So if you wanna have some inspiration, you can take a look at it. Please check it out. It's available on, on GitHub under github.com slash logdna slash terraform module pity duty. So we hope that you get started terraforming your pay to do setup today. Thank you all for watching. Please stop by our virtual booth to learn more about LogDNA and connect with our team. Have a great summit.